Hey y'all, this is Carol Norby. You're at my Stampin' Carol Lots of Crafty Goodness page. It's time for my Wednesday morning video. And I'm going to make a shaker card. I have been having so much fun with shaker cards. And I can see it looking at my desk. I forgot my sequins. Hang on. I keep them close. They are right there. Starry Night sequins. These are brand new. Um, they are part of the uh, Hello Summer release, collection release, coming up June 22nd. I did get mine by ordering um, the three project kits that are available right now on uh, the Spellbinders Fun Stampers Journey page. And if you're interested in seeing that, just click on the Shop Now button on my Facebook page. If you're on YouTube, you need to go to my website, stampincarol.com and click on the, my affiliate link. So anyway, we'll get started. I, I just love this new collection. I am so anxious for the for the YouTube party at 9 o'clock in the morning Arizona time, which is the same as Pacific Daylight time. Arizona doesn't do daylight. Uh, we don't change times for daylight savings time. We just, I love it. I love it. <laughs> So anyway, I'll flip the phone over and we'll get started. <laughs> okay, there's my desk. Okay, try to get you situated here. There we go. So I am using this set, Dream Seeker. It is SS-0069, and I'm using the dies, DI-0534. I keep my dies on a piece of magnetic vent. I do adhere my magnetic vent to a piece of cardboard or cardstock to give it a little bit more oomph because it is very thin. I'm also using wind and water uh, embossing folder, EF-0040. Now this one, I have uh, used it a lot. Um, I, I love it. It is so cool. I'm also using Cloud Dreams, DI-0032, and a piece of paper similar to this, but without all the uh, speckles, uh, that I had made using um, liquid colors. And I think I showed a video a while back. So I started off with my cool pull paper and cut it to fit my cardstock and stamped to where I knew it would be right in the middle. Of my uh, spot. Now I do have a piece of clear view sheet. I have um, put on white liner, white line tape because I, this is one of the hardest things for me to remember is that if I don't put this on, my sequins won't stay in. <laughs> yeah. Now imagine that. <laughs> so I will adhere this right in the middle. I cut that pretty close. There we go. Right there. Now to pop this up, I need to add foam tape around there. Well, I'm going to use my 3M tape uh, because it is pretty cheap. And I can cut it to size. Oh, drop my scissors. And I just cut it right about there. And give that a little room, some there. So I didn't do a whole lot ahead of time on this. So you get to watch it. And you're going to get to watch me color a little bit. I'll be using our uh, Color Splash pencils from Fun Stamper's Journey. I'm going to cut this one down just a little. i got to watch my fingers. I have been known to cut my fingers, Those these little detail Pro shears. Man, them suckers are sharp. I have I have cut my fingers. I've had nice little V's in my usually in my finger right there. It's <laughs> it's very painful. I do not recommend that you do that. So remember to keep your fingers out of the way. Uh-huh. I at least have only done it at home, so I've only had to mop, I can mop up easier. <laughs> it's not fun, no. You gotta really be careful. 
And these shears are self-sharpening, so, you know, the more, you, as long as you use them, they will stay sharp. And so I'll just get that little bit right there, see if I can shove that in there. It's a little, little big. Okay. So depending on what I'm doing, sometimes I need to double layer this. I made the cutest little spinner card for our grandson. And I had to double layer it because the pennies would not go where they, you know, they, I, they wouldn't spin. The pennies that I used did not want to spin. So I'll get that cleaned off. So now I'm going to, um, I need to adhere some more on the sides. What am I thinking? So, uh, Anyway, a little video right before this one shows the cute work truck, dump truck spinner card. Oh my gosh, it was just, just too much fun. First time I'd ever tried that. I was actually planning on making a slider card. And I was on Pinterest just trying to get some ideas and come up with something and then I seen those spinner cards I go oh yeah I remember um we when I was at one of our fun stampers journey conventions it was demoed and it was just so so cute so I thought well gotta try it and it was so easy I'm honestly thinking of trying to teach that in one of my classes maybe this fall because it was a lot easier than I expected I just have to have the gals bring their pennies and their glue dots because I was surprised how much um, glue, that my, uh, I had a round pop dot from years ago. I I keep finding, <laughs> finding things. Do you, do you find things in your stash? You go, oh, I forgot I had that. Yeah, well, the, the sticky was gone on it, but the size was perfect and it was, uh, it worked wonderfully, but I just had to use bunch of glue dots. I had to use a bigger glue dot to adhere my dump truck to the penny because uh, since my dump truck was so big, that was a big image, but it, it just turned out so, so, so cute. Okay, so there's that. Make sure I'm in your view here. So I'm going to use my sequins, my Starry Night sequins, and I'm just going to put a few couple more okay I don't want too many but gotta have enough to do some good set that aside I better cover it while I'm thinking of it okay so I'm gonna put this on get all the the lint off my as best I can off of my card so I can try to I can't get that out of the way so here we go my phone is in the way for me to see that I'm getting it on exactly. Okay, I think I got a couple. Yeah, there's some underneath right here. Close enough. Okay, so there's that. Now I've, I stamped the the killer whale, and I I have a stamping platform I use. I have um, one of the original Misty's, the little one. It's good. I have um, one by We Are Memory Keepers. I think that's who it's from. Before, whoa, well, that took care of that. I get my light. Knock everything over. That's fun. Always so fun. I have one here, Stamp Perfect by Hampton Arts. I love it. But needless to say, I can't use, you know, you can't get that anymore. But this one is uh, Stamp Buddy Pro, and I, I have sold probably seven or eight of those. I have an outlet, but unfortunately, Misty has gone after them, and they're out of England. So I can get, oh, there's a big, okay, there we go. Anyway, they're out of England, but uh, Misty has gone after them for copyright infringement. That is so sad. A lot of people are having that that uh, happening to them. And then yet the gal that I bought my Stamp Buddy Pro from has told me that uh, Misty actually stole that idea for her stamp platform. So who knows? So anyway, I'm going to stick this 
right about here. Now you need something in this upper corner. It looks really out of balance. So I quite embossed these two images. There's the kind of like the moon and a planet. I'll color them real quick here and show you how I color. So I think the moon I'm going to do yellow. So I've got my medium blending brush and I just pull. See, I'm pulling the color out of it with the water. So I'll set that aside. And I'm just going to watercolor that in a way. There's a little piece of something on there. I don't know what. Usually crafters' tables are a, can be a real mess. Okay. With the light where it is, I can't quite see what I am doing because it's too far off to the side. There we go. I think that works. What I maybe will do, I need some darker spots. So if I take a different yellow, here's a little darker one. Pull a little color off. Just get my brush good and, uh, and then just with this being wet, just add some spots here and there. Add a little water so it will spread out a little bit. You know, when you look at the moon, the dark spots, the craters, that's kind of cool. We have an observatory just up the, just across the valley from us. A friend of ours who works there, um, they have some big scopes up there. Okay, I'm going to get those two pencils out of the way. And then uh, let that dry for a moment and wipe up my color before I get everything where I don't need it. Then I thought this one, the moon, since I have, or the, the planet, since I have blue in my card, I'll just bring some blue. And... Uh, you know, I'm going to have to grab my glasses. I just can't quite, can't quite see this. So, but you just get to play, you know, there's, uh, so fun to, to play. I was watching a YouTube video this morning of a, of a friend that was doing, she had gotten a, a supply box of, uh, artist supplies and, um, she was giving it a try and she did some really amazing things. And I was so surprised because it had a um, watercolor brush in it that I have had. I have had one of these, um, what is it? It is a Kiritake Niji water brush. I have had this probably close to 20 years. What I liked about it is in here there's a baffle that if you squeeze, it just doesn't let the water run out. It gives you just a little bit of water at a time. And sometimes I, oh, this one's dry. I don't have anything in it. <laughs> but I really like it because I have a really good uh, control of the water. This one, I like the ones from Fun Stamper's Journey. But sometimes you can get more water than you, than you want. And uh, that's not good. I'm adding a little bit of shadows here and there. There's a, get a little bit in there. Okay, so wipe that up. And then I'll do the uh, the rings. And I see there's some green. It looks green in my card. Like I said, I don't remember what colors I used. So we'll add a little green here. I may not have got enough green into it. No, I need a little bit more. A little more color out. Yeah, there we go. So, anyway, that's a little too much, so I'm going to pull some off. Maybe. Oh, well, that looks pretty cool. So, this card to me, um, this set, especially with this, this words dream, seek, achieve, they would be wonderful for. Um, using for a uh, graduation card, a birthday card, whatever. Okay, is that dry? 
Now I'm going to real quick hit these with my heat tool gun. I have my trusty Milwaukee. This thing is about as old as that, if not older, than my heat tool or my uh, water brush. Like that one. Okay. Here we go. I keep my heat gun real handy. It hangs from the tip so that uh, the tip, because the tip is exposed, it gets really, really hot. So I'm thinking, okay, get these back in there. Kind of, kind of like that, maybe. So we'll adhere this one down, get my ATG gun. I have a, uh, there's a gal at our local stamp club. Her husband makes holders for our ATG guns. I have one on order. Unfortunately, she wasn't able to attend our stamp meeting in uh, the end of May, and I'm not able to attend it in June because I'm going to be sitting at my computer or TV. I'm getting way out of the picture here. So I can be a part of, probably at the computer, because I can respond uh, to the, uh, the YouTube. Okay. Very good. So there's that. Now I need to add more sequins. I will just pour a few out here. Make sure they... Sometimes if I pour them onto my glass mat, they have a tendency to fly away. Yeah. So I'll grab my glue dots. And I do like... I have been using the glue dot brand for ages and ages. I do. I do like it. So I need to decide, where do I want? Do I want to put maybe the moon? Get that little dot. Another moon. Kind of hide it. That looks kind of cool. Hide it behind. And we've got all kinds of stars. I can star okay, this is giving me some good ideas. I just can't get it out from under. There we go. You know, that bloom tool works really good for all kinds of things. <laughs> so I'll just tuck it in behind there. Do that, and I'll pick up a, a, a star. I probably should have used smaller glue dots on that because they kind of show up. Okay, maybe a star here. I'll grab the smaller ones. That was a 3 16 so I'll go down to the 1 8 glue dots. Oh, yeah, these will definitely good because I want to use some stars. So, are you having a good day today? So, hi Karen, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Maybe, whoops, that one didn't pick up the glue dot. There we go. So, maybe like that. And since I have four, I need one more. Go another star. Good. So far, so good. Yep. We had, uh, I had my first ever Welcome to Medicare Physical Monday. Went really good, except for my knee. I have had an issue with a knee for the last six months now. A lot of pain when I use stairs, so I've been babying it, needless to say. Now my right knee hurts. So I have um, uh, everything the doctor said, EKG, the whole works, was excellent. Except he says, you got a funky knee. And I go, I knew that. So I get to go have an x-ray. So there is my shaker card. Isn't that cool? Just real simple, real easy. I may come back in and add a little darker color to these because they kind of seem washed out. Maybe darker blue. I'll leave the green maybe darker yellow. So I will take a photo of this. Yeah, I've had arthroscopic surgery on my right knee about 30 years ago. I fell. And uh, when I was in high school, I broke the kneecap, was in a brace, and then 30 years ago, I fell on some ice, and needless to say, I destroyed all the cartilage on the back side. I had, so they fixed it, and that knee is doing really good. But my left knee, I've done nothing to it, but I think I've inherited, <laughs> I think I've inherited my, my mom's and my aunt's and uncle's knees, because out of all of my aunt's and uncle's, only two Mom came from a big family. Only two did not have knee surgeries or knee replacements. 
So there's my card. I think I will darken those because they just are too faint. And that will be easy to do, but there it is. So um, it doesn't take a whole lot to get a really cool card. So I'm going to flip you back over here now. Okay, there we go. Get that all straightened out. So <sighs> we're hitting the, I think we're going to hit a high 90s today. My air conditioner is already running this morning. I do have clothes on the line. I did wash laundry this morning. And um, dishwasher is running. So I've had a busy morning. So anyway, I hope you all have a great day. Karen, I hope your knee gets to feeling better too. Um, I have a growth on the side of mine. And my doctor goes, ooh, when did that happen? And I said, about a year ago. Does it hurt? Only in the last few months and it's getting worse and worse. So... I'm so glad I've got the paperwork. I just had to make the appointment for the, the x-ray. And then he wants a bone density test. Welcome to Medicare. <laughs> I am actually going to probably get fixed up now because I have been on a health share program for the last four years. Uh, I was getting private insurance, but with the ACA, oh my gosh, it just knocked me out of the running. I had to go do something else. So anyway, I am so glad I'm getting... I'm getting checked up now. So, and we had our first dental appointment yesterday with a new dentist. We are not going to cross the border anymore. It's not that we don't like it. We love our dentist across the, into the Mexico, uh, in Nogales, Mexico. It's getting back across the border to the States that was getting very difficult. You'd be in line for one and a half to two hours. And then with the heat that we have here, that is not good. Not good. So anyway, so Karen, have a great day, and everybody else too. I will be putting this on um, YouTube, uh, and I will finish this card and add a photo. So, And then this card will be on my blog and here on Facebook completed uh, probably Friday. Because tomorrow I think I'm sharing the completion of that little spinner card I made. you got to check that out. It's going in the mail today, and that one, yeah, it's definitely taking a lot of extra postage. So have a wonderful day. Stay cool. Stay healthy and stay safe. Catch y'all later. Bye-bye.